I'm moving to why I think you saw Fowler uh, now not be with the Padres, have any stakes in the Padres anymore, is him and Peter Seidler. I don't I think, think their thought process was on the same wavelength. I didn't think they shared the same thought process and the way to go about things. Ron Fowler, he was the head labor negotiator in 2017. Uh for Major League Baseball side of things during the CBA talks. This lockout that just happened, he was in Florida for those meetings representing Major League Baseball. He was part of that group that didn't want to give the young players, uh, you know, $50 million in pre-arbitration pool money. They initially wanted to give him like $15 million in pre-arbitration bonus pool money, the players uh, in total. Uh, So that didn't make the players happy. And so... Meanwhile, while Ron Fowler doesn't want to give players as much money as the players want, meanwhile, you have Peter Seidler pretty much doing the opposite and giving Fernando Tatis Jr. $340 million before he even plays a full major league season. So that dynamic between Seidler, who was the main owner, majority owner, wanting to spend money, and Fowler, who was known to not really want to spend as much money as Seidler, that probably created, I would think, some weird, awkward relationship and a relationship that probably wasn't the best. Now, I'm not here. I don't know anything on the inside. I'm not saying that Seidler and Fowler like hated each other. Uh, But Seidler, now maybe this is Seidler or the Padres PR staff just recommending this to Seidler and saying, hey, maybe you probably shouldn't talk to AC about this, you know, the story. Give your thoughts about it. You don't need, you know, big headlines about it and take away from spring training. But I think it is worthy to note that Seidler declined to be quoted in Kevin Acey's article. 